guys, welcome to my animal chit chat vlog. Today I'll be talking about the sweet uh, giant leaf insect nymphs I have. So these are really new and I'm not going to handle them. I'm not trying not to. This one's sort of on the edge so I might have to give it a little little tiny, tiny handle. But except from that, I'm not going to do too much handling. Um, so this is my enclosure. Um, so I have done leaf insect care. But um, I wanted to do specifically just a quick care duck guide on leaf insect nymph care. So for all leaf insect nymphs, um, you know, they're very delicate, you know, um, very, I mean, these, this species in particular are very sensitive with humidity. Um, I've got my humidity gauge in here and I'm sort of measuring the humidity as a gauge does. You can get digital ones. Um, I've got a digital temperature gauge here. Uh, it doesn't show the percentage as well, unfortunately. Uh, there's a light. It's <laughs> not too much light, is there? You can't really see. Oh, there we go. It's 24.8. It's a bit cooler because it's been quite hot and I've just sprayed. Um, but normally I make sure it's 25 to 30 degrees. Um, you can cool it down at night, just not too cool. I wouldn't say under 25. Um, for little babies, um, some people forget that you need to sort of tear some of the leaves so they so it, so it can stimulate feeding because otherwise they won't eat and they starve. And sometimes actually they can get stuck to the leaf. And then I've got some soil because actually, you know, as they, as they age, um, when they're adults, I will actually sort of put stuff like um, to kitchen roll instead of soil because I want to see, be able to see the eggs. If they laid eggs, I wouldn't be able to see it in the soil. Um, it would be quite hard. Maybe if I got lighter soil, maybe I might be. But yeah, but it's good, really good for humidity. Um, I've got what six in here um i'm not i don't think you know the rule of our selection you know breeding more than one insect is the fact that not all of them survive so that's why i like to buy in quantity i would have liked more <laughs> more 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 but um i couldn't afford more this time and um yeah i, I don't think they were selling anymore but maybe maybe one day i will get some more but just start with six first. But I've just sort of like, um, so I've got lights here. And um, sorry about the noisy boat motorbike. And, you know, nymphs are just really delicate. So you've got to be careful. Um, I put some, a mixture of food plants. I think that's a really good idea. Because sometimes they might not like, say, rose. Or they might not like uh, bramble or blackberry. Um, so it's just sort of testing the waters a bit. Making sure that's okay. Um there's been some holes and stuff in this enclosure because originally this was my fox tank. Well, a long, long time ago, it was my fox tank and then I've used it for insects and, and the insects in the past. Um, my um, other types of insects were in there previously, um, but now these are in there. But So I've had to cover the holes, but except for that works really well. Um, they're going to be in here until they're older, maybe stage three or stage four, and then move into the bigger tank, which is occupied at the moment, but it won't be later on. Um, so this is just sort of a nursery to, I don't know, L3, L4, L5 maybe. Um, it's quite spacious. It's 45 by 45 by 45, which is what I, I recommend highly. Um, and for these, I would recommend a, a Vivium, viv, viv, Vivarium, sorry, not a Vivian. What's that? <laughs> a Vivarium, definitely, because um, Annette, the humidity will just escape and um, they will die. So yeah, just sort of spray, try not to spray them, sort of obvious stuff like to spray really slowly. That's what I do. I get my spray bottle and I spray slowly. With my old ones, I spray a lot because if I do spray them a little bit, it doesn't matter. Hello, little one. Um, I'm going away next week and I, I'm putting people in charge of looking after my insects. I'm not looking forward to it because I'm looking forward to going away, but I'm, I'm worried, I'm worried my insects. You know, I'm not really that worried. I suppose, you know, as a mother of insects and animals, I'm worried for them, but I know they're going to be looked after well. Right, I did say I wasn't going to handle, but unfortunately this one's sort of, not, well, fortunately, but at the same time, I want to be really careful. If they've crawled into you, it's different, but I would be careful. Sorry, my hand's in the camera. But yeah, they look, can you see, the colour difference is amazing though, because they are sort of a black or brown normally. I'm... The last nymphs I had were actually black. Um, so, yeah, it's quite weird how they're different colours and then they will change colour. So some of them, I think they, they will be basically green, these ones. But some of them can adapt to colour and change. It depends, really. 
on the inset. These are probably not going to do that um, because uh, they're going to probably, well, they will adapt to change green probably because there will always be green on that one's eating. How sweet. The green a bit shy eating in front of me, so it's kind of, it's a bit too blurry. It's all nibbling, he's nibbling. He's looking at the camera now, like, she, sorry, they're all she's. So, um, giant leaf insects always tend to be she's because there's only females in their species. Uh, the males are either really low on population or extinct. Um, so they breed pathogenically, which means they breed without a mate and the eggs will be clones. And therefore, that's why they have a low hatch rate and possibly why, you know, many nymphs are lost because of the way they are bred, perhaps. I'm not sure. It's something that I want to research. But yeah, it's basically, it's a sort of a basic vary enclosure, soil, heat mat underneath. It's, it's quite underneath because if you have a little tiny bit of soil and a heat mat, the heat will go through and it will be too hot. Whereas if you put some soil on top of it, it will actually sort of, the temperature will balance out nicely and, you know, the heat mat won't be too hot. Um, yeah, so mine is sort of near a window. Um, it's hot, so I have opened the window, but normally I shut it and it's very, it's very warm. It's not right in front of a window. If it wasn't right in front of a window, um, it wouldn't be good. I wouldn't recommend that because it would be too cold, but it's a nice, and it's in a nice snuggly corner um, where you can shut the window and it can be warm. Or you can you can open it when it's really hot. So I've just cooled it down a little bit because it's been very hot today. Sometimes you don't even need a heat mat. Um, my house can be quite cold, and so that's why. Um, but yeah, I like these this, this sort of little vivarium. Where did I get this from? Oh, I ordered this from Swell. I think it was either Swell Reptiles or Northampton Reptile Centre. Uh, they do really good vids and stuff, and the prices are amazing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you them. It's just a quick video, really. Um, but yeah, I'm going away next week, so I won't be able to video. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you them. They're so beautiful. <laughs> um, if you have any lethal sick insects, please, you know, comment in the section below or DM me or whatever. Um, if you want to find out more about leaf insects, different types, um, it's on my website, um, which is www.animalchitsy.com. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and see how these babies are getting up to or anything else or any of my other animals, it's my Instagram is at animalchitchat97. Thank you very much. It's been a, a short one, but um, yeah, it's been fantastic. And I'll let these little ones have a little, little privacy to eat and things. Yes, they're pretty. Bye.